Let's have a look at what we've got. So I've got here a power supply and that power supply is going to be set on 12 volts and that's representing the power station. This is then connected to a step up transformer. So this is the primary coil which has got 120 turns on it and this is the secondary turn which has got 1200 turns on. So it has a turns ratio 10 so it should increase the voltage by about 10 times step up transformer connected to the primary coil i.e before the step up transformer does anything i have got an ordinary 12 volt bulb then the output from the secondary coil which will be at a high voltage is connected into my resistance wires which are representing the long cables between the power station and at the far end somebody's house. So at the far end I have got the end of the cables connected to a step down transformer which has got 1200 turns on the primary coil and 120 turns on the secondary coil. And I have got in addition, I'm sorry, and then I have a light bulb here connected to the secondary coil, which is representing a light bulb in your house. So, to show what high voltage I have in the uh, cables, or across the cables, I have got a voltmeter both connected to the primary coil of the step-down transformer at this end, and also connected to the secondary coil of the transformer at the far end. So I'm now going to go and turn on the power supply and as I mentioned before you need to be very careful to with this because I'm going to have a high voltage across the secondary coil of this transformer so I must be very careful not to touch anything in the middle there once it's turned off. So I can turn on the power supply and you can notice that there's a bit of a buzz from the transformers, but hopefully you can see that with this setup, I have got almost as bright a bulb at the far end in someone's house as I would have if it was connected right next to the power station. And you can see that I have got about 92 volts across the secondary coil of the transformer near the power station. Unfortunately, I can see that my voltmeter at the far end has gone off range, so I'm going to turn that off for a moment, and I can see that I left the voltmeter measuring a maximum of 20 volts, so that wasn't enough, so I'll turn that up to a maximum of 200 volts, and then hopefully we will be able to see that, when I turn it back on, that we have got very similar voltage across or potential difference at the far end as we had just after the uh, primary transformer at this end. So I'm going to turn that off now and then I'm very quickly to show again what the problem was before we introduced the transformers. I'm going to unplug all the transformer parts and I'm going to plug in the <coughs> uh, bulb directly at this end and do the same for the bulb directly at this end. So I'm removing all the transformer parts and just having the bulbs plugged directly in. And I need two more wires to plug in the power supply to this. And because I've removed all those transformers, this is perfectly safe again. And now if I connect that in and turn it on, hopefully we will see the problem recreated that the light bulb at the far end is barely glowing because of the energy wasted by the current flowing through the cables.